Greetings, and praised be Jesus Christ, now and forever. We finally come as we've been considering all the people who are there at the manger in Bethlehem. We finally come to consider the presence of Jesus. Because, of course, it was never an accident. God doesn't do anything by accident. It was never an accident that Jesus wound up being born after Mary and Joseph had traveled that long way from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. Now, of course, we know that he was born in Bethlehem because that was the fulfillment of the prophecies of the Old Testament, that he was to be born in that place. But the fact that he was born in a cattle shelter, he wasn't born in a regular home, he wasn't born in a hospital, he was born in a messy, dirty, smelly cattle shelter, shows the extent to which Jesus chose to be poor, to not come as a king in the, in the sense of having all the wealth and the power and everything like that that worldly kings have, Jesus came in poverty to show us that the real treasure is not in the things of this world, but the real treasure is in the things of heaven. So, of course, Jesus being there at the stable in Bethlehem, I mean, he's the star of the show, obviously. He's the one that we focus on more than anybody else. All the others were there, and they all represent something very important. But they all came to Bethlehem because of Jesus. And we all remember them because of Jesus. Because Jesus is the Word made flesh. He is God himself come down among us so that he can bring salvation to the world. But he gives us that courage, that, in, that, uh, that great assurance that in all the trials and the difficulties of this life that he is with us that he chose the way of poverty, he chose the way of suffering, he chose the way of difficulty to show us that ultimately our prize, our treasure is supposed to be in heaven. And if we set our hearts on those things, then our treasure will be something that we can possess forever. God bless you.